Welcome to Pick Computer Science video number one, where we ask the Little Man Computer, what is it? Well, the Little Man Computer can be described as a model, a simulation, but a model or a simulation of what? Well, of the workings of a personal computer CPU, or Central Processing Unit, or Processor, or more specifically, the Von Neumann Architecture the architecture behind all modern personal computer processors. And there is John von Neumann looking very happy in front of one of the first personal computers built. So this simulation, the Little Man computer, was invented in 1965 by Stuart Madnick, and we've seen many incarnations of it since. If you Google Little Man computer, you'll find many, many websites you can go to where you can try out the simulation. And you can see there are lots of different versions of it. Here's a very popular one from York University. If you follow the URL at the top right of your screen, it'll take you to this online version of the LMC. Um, so you don't need to download and install any software to use this. You just need to make sure that Java is working in your browser. This is the version of the LMC that most schools and colleges will use if they're undertaking any coursework on the LMC, so it's probably the most popular implementation. Although it's not the most commonly used implementation, I prefer this one from Durham University. If you follow that URL, it'll take you to their website where you can actually download and install this for either Apple Mac or Windows. So it is a program you do need to install, but one of the reasons I do prefer this implementation is that it provides a animation of the delivery of data between registers so I can step through what's happening and actually see each step or I can run a full fetch execute cycle or I can run the whole program and watch as, say, it adds two numbers together for me. And one of the great things about the Little Man computer, and in that Durham implementation in particular, is it allows you to get your head around the use of the CPU registers, such as the program counter, the MAR, the MDR, the CIR, and the accumulator. You can actually see what is happening with those registers through that animation. As well as finding out how registers actually work, most people will use the LMC to do some low-level programming. So this could be assembly language, as we see on the right-hand side here, where monomics are used, abbreviations of commands. Um, we have opcodes on the left hand side here, the actual commands, and then we have the operands, the data on which the opcodes are operating on the right hand side. And you can also do some machine code programming. There's an example of some straight numbers that you would put into the LMC uh, instead of monomics. Um, However, we know that machine code really is just pure binary ones and zeros. So are we strictly using machine code to program the LMC? Well, the argument is yours to have. All implementations of the LMC have an instruction set. Um, so this is a guide to the different monomics that you can use to um, make your program work. So in a typical instruction set, we will have things to do things like addition and subtraction, to store values, to load values, to do branching, so almost selection. Um, and branching is also used to create iteration, uh, to input data, to output data, to halt a program, um, to signify a data storage location. Um, so each monomic has its uh, equivalent machine code value, um, which we've seen in a previous slide. And what we'll find is that 
most implementations of the LMC share a common instruction set are almost the same. Here's a comparison between Durham and York. Um, they're almost identical apart from those differing commands. Those are the exceptions. So what we've got to appreciate is that if we are using the Durham implementation in class, if we got an exam question on this, chances are that the exam board are going to expect us to use the York commands which differ ever so slightly. So the next thing that you'll want to do is actually program the little man computer and we'll look at that in another video. Bye for now.